What's up, Reefers? Welcome to another episode of Alex Pora Corals. I'm Alex Wilson, your host, and this is more of the good, the bad, and the ugly, and where I am dosing chicken manure. That's right, adding chicken manure. You heard right, dehydrated chicken manure to my reef aquariums. See if it's a good or a complete disaster. Let's check it out. Alright, so here's another update on my uh, quarantine system. And I got the power head off. And let's look at the acanthophilia. Doing good as always. I got my uh, purple mush, purple rhodactus over here, orange rhodactus. Some green rhodactus there. These little fungi is looking really good. And so. Here's a shot of uh, this, one of these snails, and I think I might be able to get it to focus on it. There it goes. Anyway, it's a, uh, so guys, it's funny, it looks like he has like two antenna, and one is like really a lot, a lot longer than the other one, and he uses that one to, to feel around. And, and, but he doesn't eat with that one, that's just like one of his, uh, I think one of the two tentacles on there are longer on them. So, yeah. Nah. This part is good, it's gonna get right there. Anyways, one there. And I have it some different types. Um, here's one in the, up on the top, right? Well, two more. Right on the top, right here. Eating away in this area. This one right here is half coming out of the water right there. And I have this this uh, water overflow coming out of my protein skimmer filter system, the Aquamax. And I got a little bit of algae growing up here. And look, I got snails, snail crawl all the way up here. It's halfway out of the water. Coming in there, eating, eating algae that's up there. That's pretty weird. Pretty weird, so see what that's like if you, um, how big they get, so that's fun. And I also have a whole bunch of copepods and one issue, that, call me crazy, but it's one issue I I might see these guys doing right here. See, I have this Hippopus clam. See that uh, copepod right there? Well, he's kind of hanging out and there's a little white spot right there on the Hippopus. And then I've noticed this white spot, and then the white spot on the other side too. It's the same thing that um, it looks like these copepods are nibbling a little bit on the clam. So it looks like they they started, and it's um, or either the clam got damaged a little bit there. I, but either way, now they're like hanging out. Like one is that's one of the one of the places that. This copepod right here is like defending and will uh, certainly go on top of the clam on that area right there and uh, it seems to be eating it. And the same thing on the other side. There's another white spot there. It's the same thing. So. But yeah, I might be able to get that on camera. Check back. But yeah, that's. So other than that, I mean, they have. I've seen them bother the other Maxima clams and the Squamosa, you know, they'll certainly pinch in their mantle, you know, in the areas where the copepods are bothering them, but I haven't actually you know, seen them eat, kind of nibble, you know, when they have such um, damage, some a little bit of damage spots on them like the Hippopus has so far, so anyway, I'll definitely keep an eye on that, but yeah, I've got all kinds of you know, uh, copepods here, you know, without any fish in the system, so, or, so it's completely in, uncontrolled as far as the copepod population. Anyway, gonioporas are doing good, and, uh, you know, on the manure, I'm gonna kind of uh, stop this week just to see, you know, what it does as far as the testing, but I'm planning on starting again probably at the half a dose. And so when I say half a dose, you know, the half a dose of the, of the reef roids is of 
recommended um, feeding amount of site is, is the amount that I'm going off of. So, anyway, Philly is looking good. It's the green off frog spawn. And, she got the main display. The yellow tang. He's like, where's my manure? I'm hungry. He, he prefers to eat the, eat the manure over the, his nori, which is pretty weird. But he doesn't eat the flake food either, so... So he prefers just nori and... Uh, I mean, uh, he prefers manure, chicken manure, and then his nori. So we'll see if we can uh, get some more in there for him soon. And, but yep, all kinds of browns, greens in here, of course. Still looking forward to getting some more corals in here and clams and everything that I have in the quarantine aquarium. So I've got probably a couple of weeks more to go to hit the two and a half week mark. That's what I was going for as far as the quarantine on the corals. So, you know, ideally if I had them from a 100% safe source that I knew that, you know, that they're not going to have anything on it that I could put the corals directly in here. But the problem with that is that, you know, even people that say that they're supposedly, uh, you know, 100% safe source, you know, there's no such thing as really, even if they think they're 100%, you know, there really no is 100% some point like, like a, maybe it's a 99%, you know, or 99.9%, .9%, so it'd still be a chance chance of taking a risk of uh, getting um, something in here. My, my main concern is velvet, velvet that I'm trying to avoid. Alright guys, so I guess that's, that's it. Just a quick update on the system and I hope you guys have a happy uh, reefing. Bye.